Hey everyone, welcome back for more. Let's take a look at Star Wars, The Old Republic, The Space Missions. Last time we did the Jabim Assault. Oh, now we will do the one called Selu. How do I say that? Selu Kami Fleet Action. However, that is actually pronounced. This one is a little bit more interesting in the fact that it puts you up against this boss ship here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the prototype for what eventually become the B-Wing fighter from what you might remember from the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games. But yeah, you'll have a little stronger class of ship to deal with. You'll have a few more capital ships, and you'll have that thing. So let's go, shall we? Now it says, destroy five elites, destroy the enemy boss ship. Destroying the fighters and frigate turrets will get you a bonus, and avoid fire from the destroyer at the end of the mission. Now, you, you get to fly around in this nice little ice asteroid field here. You can't really do much to the asteroids. You can try shooting them, but it won't help. But almost right off the bat, two of those five elite fighters you need show up right there. And they get that nice little outline against them. And then we have a few snub fighters approaching from front, and you'll notice that you don't really have to do much leading of your opponents. As long as you hover the cursor over the ships and fire, your ships will, your uh, shots will automatically track. So that's one less thing you have to worry about as you're trying to do things in this game, in this space missions. So after that little after the uh, first Corvette you have to run by, and yes, I'm calling Corvettes capital ships for the purpose of this, because they're basically turrets that you have to blow up on a stationary platform. Hey, you're not even hurt. Quit saying keep it together. And yes, I probably could have taken out a couple of turrets on that on that Corvette I just passed by, but nah. I'd rather shoot the ships. They're easier, don't really require missiles. And you'll notice I'm already at 34 or 37 of the 50 ships I need. And now at this point, about just after the three minute mark passes by. Oh shit. Just concentrate fire on him and he will go down, but do, you know, don't feel too bad about uh, burning missiles on him and shooting down his compatriots, shooting down his wingmen when you uh, get the chance. After all, they account towards a bonus too, and that big ship is, you know, kind of important to finish the mission. And now the only thing I really have left to do for this mission is destroy the Red Talon fighters. And as I say that, the second pair comes by. A missile up each of their tailpipes, they're gone. And now this mission is fairly smooth sailing the rest of the way. And I hate to admit this, but I've never actually let that, uh, that little beast, uh, the BT-7 that it talks you have to shoot down, and the one I think I threw like eight missiles at, I've never let it survive its initial pass, so I'm not sure if you have more chances or not to uh, get it if you don't get it the first time. So just concentrate on it the first time, get it, and you won't have to worry about it. Snarky, I know, but man, them's the breaks. Now, you may be wondering, we've only seen four of the Talon Fighters. Well, that's because the fifth and sixth Talon Fighter don't show up till late in the mission. They should be due for an appearance pretty soon. Just not yet. But the thing is, if you've got the first four, you don't have to get both of the last two. 
But I like getting the last two anyway, just because. You get experience. Yeah, you get experience for everything you do out here. I think you get between 5 and 7 per ship. You get 20 per turn and 50... There's the other two ships right there. About the half minute mark remaining in the mission, those last two ships show up. And there's the ship you're supposed to avoid fire from. I just had it more... I usually find it more fun to save missiles and blow away and blow it away as best I can. And now with 10 seconds left to go, our shield's full. All goals complete. It is time to calculate the jump to light speed, go home, and count another successful space mission. So, the jump to light speed, we accept, and we will end back on our ship very soon. So, with that out of the way, I said with that out of the way, thank you, this has been an, the second of the five space missions I can do right now. So, until next time, see you later, folks. Bye.